We used to listen on WMCA to Vernon McGee, Charles Stanley, and A.R. Bernard. And so funny, we didn't realize he was nearby. We live in Jersey, and usually the pastors we love on the radio are from Texas or Georgia or Florida. <laughs> yep. We're like, yep. Brooklyn? We can do Brooklyn because <laughs> we lived in Montclair, New Jersey. It was just worth the trip because we had shopped around for churches for a long time, mm -hmm. and this was the one that really fit. Yep. So my background is a veteran trial attorney, principal, um, retired assistant superintendent of schools. So, so my thing is education, education. So what resonates from way back from 96 to this very moment is all of that education that I've had, <laughs> I can unequivocally state that Dr. Bernard is the best teacher I ever had. So looking through my notes, I had a lot of notes from a lot of years, uh, but I landed on in June of 2015, and in those notes I saw where a pastor said, uh, the basis for disappointment is never what you find. The basis of disappointment is what you expected to find, mm -hmm. which is profound. And I went back to January of the same year, 2015, and he was speaking on Psalms 37, 4, delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart, which mm -hmm. really spoke, and they went together. They were like puzzle pieces, um, because when you align your expectation with the will of God, then the surprise is never gonna be disappointment. It's gonna be something that's even greater than what you thought you would find. I was baptized shortly after we joined, like back in 98, with um, my son, who was a little one then. I was really stressed over some trauma he was going through, and pastor says, he invited us to raise our hands if there's anything or anybody that gets in the way of you praising the Lord, and I'm, very embarrassed, you know, raising my hand, because I know that, you know, but I wasn't doing that. And it was like, I was convicted, and he, you know, ministered to all of us. He corrected us first, and then he ministered to us. And it was like a burden was lifted off my spirit, and I put it down at Jesus' feet, and I didn't take it back up. I'll have a need, and the sermon will just touch that need so intimately. So that happens so often at Christian Cultural Center, and that's one of the things that we appreciate, and I keep getting transformed, and that's my blessing, to continue to be transformed as long as I'm here on the planet. <laughs>